The first reading is from Genesis. They heard the sound of the Lord God walking in the garden of, of the time of the evening breeze. And the man and his wife hid themselves from the presence of the Lord God amongst the trees in the garden. But the Lord God called to the man and said to him, Where are you? He said, I heard the sound of you in the garden, and I was afraid, because I was naked, and I hid myself. He said, Who told you that you were naked? Have you eaten from the tree of which I commanded you not to eat? The man said, The woman who, whom gave, you gave to be with me, she gave me fruit from the tree, and I ate it. And the Lord said to the woman, What is this that you have done? The woman said, The serpent tricked me, and I ate. The Lord God said to the serpent, Because you have done this, cursed are you among all animals and among all wild creatures. Upon your belly you shall go and dust you shall eat all the days of your life. I will put enmity between you and the woman, and between your offspring and hers. He will strike your head, and you will strike his heel. Thanks be to God.
The second lesson, taken from Genesis 22, verses 15 to 18. The angel of the Lord called to Abraham a second time from heaven and said, By myself I have sworn, says the Lord, because you have done this and have not withheld your son, your only son, I will indeed bless you and I will make your offspring as numerous as the stars of heaven and as the sand that is on the seashore. And your offspring shall possess the gate of their enemies, and by your offspring shall all the nations of the earth gain blessing for themselves, because you have obeyed my voice. Thanks be to God. The third lesson is taken from Isaiah 9, verses 1 to 9. The people who walked in darkness have seen a great light. Those who lived in a land of deep darkness, on them light has shined. You have multiplied the nation. You have increased its joy. They rejoice before you as with joy at the harvest, as people exult when dividing plunder. For the yoke of their burden and the bar across their shoulders, the rod of their oppressor, you have broken as on the day of Midian. For all the boots of the tramping warriors and all the garments rolled in blood shall be burned as fuel for the fire. For a child has been born to us, a son given to us, authority rests upon his shoulders. And he is named Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. His authority shall grow continually. 
and there shall be endless peace for the throne of David and his kingdom. He will establish and uphold it with justice and with righteousness from this time onward and forevermore. The seal of the Lord of hosts will do this. Thanks be to God. The fourth lesson is from Isaiah chapter 11, verses 1 to 9. A shoot shall come out from the stump of Jesse, and a branch shall grow out of his roots. The spirit of the Lord shall rest on him, the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of counsel and might, the spirit of knowledge and the fear of the Lord. His delight shall be in the fear of the Lord. He shall not judge by what his eyes see or decide by what his ears hear, but with righteousness he shall judge the poor and decide with equity for the meek of the earth. 
he shall strike the earth with the rod of his mouth, and with the breath of his lips he shall kill the wicked. Righteousness shall be the belt around his waist, and faithfulness the belt around his loins. The wolf shall live with the lamb, the leopard shall lie down with the kid, the calf and the lion and the fatling together, and little child shall lead them. The cow and the bear shall graze, their young shall lie down together, and the lion shall eat straw like the ox. The nursing child shall play over the hole of the asp, and the weaned child shall put its hand on the adder's den. They will not hurt or destroy on all my holy mountain. For the earth will be full of the knowledge of the Lord as the waters cover the sea. Thanks be to God.
The fifth lesson is taken from Luke's Gospel, chapter 26 to the verse 38. In the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent by God to a town in Galilee called Nazareth to a virgin engaged to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David. The virgin's name was Mary. And he came to her and said, Greetings, favoured one, the Lord is with you. But she was much perplexed by his words and pondered what sort of greeting this might be. The angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favour with God. And now you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you will name him Jesus, and he will be great, and will be called the Son of the Most High, and the Lord God will give him the throne of his ancestor David. He will reign over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there will be no end. Then Mary said, Here am I, the servant of the Lord. Let it be with me according to your word. Then the angel departed from her. Thanks be to God. This is the sixth lesson taken from Luke chapter 2, verses 1 to 7. In those days a decree went out from Emperor Augustus that all the world should be registered. This was the first registration and was taken while Quirinius was governor of Syria. All went to their own towns to be registered. Joseph also went from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea, to the city of David called Bethlehem because he was descended from the house and family of David. He went to be registered with Mary, to whom he was engaged, and who was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for her to deliver her child, and she gave birth to her firstborn son, and wrapped him in bands of cloth, and laid him in a manger, because there was no place for them in the inn. Thanks be to God.
In that region where the shepherds were living, sorry, in that region there were shepherds living in the fields, keeping watch over their flocks by night. Then an angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for I see, I am bringing you good news, a great joy for you, for all your, your people. To you is born this day in the city of David a saviour, who is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign for you. You will find the child wrapped in bands and cloth and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of heavenly hosts praising God and saying, God, Glory to God in the highest heaven, and on earth peace among those whom he favours. When the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, let us go to Bethlehem and see this thing that has taken place, which the Lord has made us know, known to us. So they went with a hassle and found Mary and Joseph and the child lying in a manger. Thanks be to God.
the eighth, the eighth lesson this evening is from Matthew chapter 2, verses 1 through to 11. In the time of King Herod, after Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea, wise men from the east came to Jerusalem asking, where is the child who has been born King of the Jews? For we have observed his star at its rising and have come to pay him homage. When King Herod heard this, he was frightened and all Jerusalem with him. And calling together all the chief priests and scribes of the people, he inquired of them where the Messiah was to be born. They told him, in Bethlehem of Judea, for so it has been written by the prophet. And you, Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, are by no means least among the rulers of Judah. For from you shall come a ruler who is to shepherd my people Israel. Then Herod secretly called for the wise men and learned from them the exact time when the star had appeared. Then he sent them to Bethlehem saying, go and search diligently for the child. And when you have found him, bring me word so that I may also go and pay him homage. When they had had the king, they set out and there ahead of them went the star that they had seen at its rising until it stopped over the place where the child was. When they saw that the star had stopped, they were overwhelmed with joy. On entering the house, they saw the child with Mary, his mother, and they knelt down and paid him homage. Then, opening their treasure chests, they offered him gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. Thanks be to God. And read it from John's Gospel, chapter 1. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things came into being through him, and without him not one thing came into being. What has come into being in him was life, and the life was the light of all people. The light shines in the darkness and the darkness did not overcome it. There was a man sent from God whose name was John. He came as a witness to testify to the light so that all might believe through him. He himself was not the light, but he came to testify to the light. The true light which enlightens everyone was coming into the world. 
He was in the world, and the world came into being through him, yet the world did not know him. He came to what was his own, and his own people did not accept him. But to all who received him, who believed in his name, he gave power to become children of God, who were born not of blood or of the will of the flesh or of the will of man, but of God. And the word became flesh and lived among us, and we have seen his glory, the glory as of a father's only son, full of grace and truth. Thanks be to God. Please be seated. Well, as we move towards the end of our service, we're just going to hold a few moments prayer. Uh, you may have heard this morning that our very dearly beloved sister Rosemary Bailey very sadly and unexpectedly passed away yesterday. So we're going to hold a few moments, remember uh, Rosemary, in our prayers this evening. 
when I say the words, Holy God, can you reply, hear our prayer? Holy God, hear our prayer. So let us pray to the Lord. Father, on that first holy night, your Son, our Saviour, was born in human flesh. Renew your church as the body of Christ. Holy God, hear our prayer. On that first holy night, there was no room for your Son in the inn. Protect with your love those who have no home and all who live in poverty. Holy God, Hear our prayer. On that first holy night, Mary, in the pain of labour, brought your son to birth. Hold in your hands all who are in pain or distress. Holy God, hear our prayer. On that first holy night, your Christ came as a light shining in the darkness. Bring comfort to all who suffer in the sadness of our world. Holy God, hear our prayer. On that first holy night, the angels sang, Peace to God's people on earth. Strengthen those who work for peace and justice. Holy God, hear our prayer. On that first holy night, shepherds in the fields heard good tidings of joy. Give us grace to preach the gospel of Christ's redemption. Holy God, hear our prayer. On that first holy night, strangers found the holy family and saw the baby lying in the manger. Bless our homes and all whom we love. Holy God, hear our prayer. And on that first holy night, heaven is come down to earth and earth is raised to heaven. Hold in your hand, Rosemary, and all those who have passed through death in the hope of your coming kingdom. Holy God, hear our prayer. On that first holy night, angels and shepherds worshipped at the manger throne. Receive the worship we offer in fellowship with Mary, Joseph and all the saints through him who is your word made flesh, our Saviour Jesus Christ. Amen. Well, I'm sure you'd like to join me in thanking our choir and Jeremy and our lovely children's choir for their contributions this evening. It's been lovely to be here together, despite all the challenges of COVID and this season. So thank you very much and, uh, and very well done. And so I'm going to say our final blessing and then we'll sing our last carol together. May the joy of the angels, the eagerness of the shepherds, the perseverance of the wise men, the obedience of Joseph and Mary, and the peace of the Christ child be yours this Christmas. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always. Amen. Please stand. <laughs>
love and serve the Lord in the name of Christ.